Good afternoon, Scorpio ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay, so what I like to do is to focus solely on your romantic situation. Okay, and I like to pose a very specific question to Tarot. Okay, I like to see if there's a way that you, Scorpio, can improve your situation with your extremes, the person who hurt you. So with that said, I'm going to be using my Hocus Pocus deck today and to see what the Sanders and sisters have to say in regards to the situation. Okay, so I'm going to go on and shuffle up my cards now, ladies and gentlemen, and keep in mind, this reading will not and may not resonate for each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the information that you're seeking. Because let's face it, with honesty, trust, and open communication, I feel that any relationship can be improved. But it requires two, okay? So let's see what the cards has have to say in regards um, to this situation here. Okay, we see that the first card that flips over is the Magician. So it shows you, ladies and gentlemen, that you, in fact, have the power to do whatever it is that you want. And it's more likely, it's probably more likely with a person, a water type um, person. Okay, we're going to just pull those sides on the side, cards on the side here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to be giving you a tarot challenge. Okay, and see what it is that you can do to improve your situation. Now, let's go on and start off with the card that fell to the bottom of the deck here. Wow. You guys have tower. Okay. So, with having that as the, as the bottom energy, ladies and gentlemen, that connects with Mars. So, it certainly shows it's all about a lot of shocks, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of secrets that will or may have already come out for many of you guys here. This card shows a lot of misery that you may have had to combat or is associated with this card. It shows that in order to improve things, you're going to certainly need to learn how to, you know, try to do things a, a bit differently here. Okay. And with this magician card here, it shows that you have all of the resources that you need to make Things happen here. Of course, that connects with many of you know an air sign. Okay. Libra, Gemini, as well as an Aquarius. Okay. And this connects with fire signs. Okay. The tower here. Fire and air and water. All right. And just getting back to that tower card, it just shows that, you know, perhaps many of you, Scorpio, you are a bit too predictable. And you also need to kind of think here I'm getting before you leap, you know, should you really make a decision to, you know, to, to get back with the extremes because there are secrets yet to be discovered here that I'm seeing. Or perhaps many of you might even have already discovered you can't believe anything that this person says. Okay. I feel that there's a lot of entanglements in your way of truth in your way of really having a true relationship here. And this experience seems to have traumatized you or it's, it's, it will traumatize you in a way because this, again, is the energy that's pervading your entire reading here. So I feel that for many of you, the suggestion here is to, you know, really let the situation with the extremes go, you know? This magician here is saying you, that you can embrace a new beginning, but it might be with someone new, I'm feeling. Okay? Heal and forgive. Ask yourself what you've learned from the situation. And while many of you might feel ghosted or, in fact, a bit abandoned, or even be, or you feel cheap, feel a bit, you know, cheated by life itself, this card usually brings about a new opportunity here, as I said. And that's why that magician fell out when I was shuffling. All right. Now let's go on and just dig a deep further into your reading here. Look at your situation here. Okay. 
we have, again, do we have this king of portions there here? So this card, ladies and gentlemen, is simply all about being responsible, okay? Being emotionally responsible and realizing there are other options out there. However, I feel that, you know, should you have a discussion with the exchange, it's time that you consider surrendering your need to always be right. Listen intently to what the exchange has to say. Because a lot of times, um, Scorpios, we tend to, we're in, our, in all of our frustrations, we act like we're really listening to a person, but really we're thinking about all types of responses that we can give back to that person and we just lose sight of whatever he or she is saying. It's time to listen more intently, okay? It's time to to really get out of your feelings when when you're, you know, having discussions about various important issues to you. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this card, this king here, is certainly all about being passionate. It's all about being considerate. This card is a person of respect and dignity, if you will. So although many of you might find it arduous to be nice due to past mistreatment, this card is asking you to use your head, not your heart, and to establish appropriate boundaries with the estranged. Don't return to this person out of guilt. Know your worth, okay? So let's look at what might you know, challenge you in this situation, ladies and gentlemen, or what may be kind of created somehow as a challenge. We have the moon. Wow. Okay. So as a challenge, I feel is that, you know, a lot of you, you, you really need to pay more attention to the message that you receive while dreaming. And it may come as a challenge because you're going to be feeling all of these dreams, you're going to feel all these connections to spirit, and you're not going to believe that they're true. They are true, okay? It's time that you simply trust your gut and stop second-guessing yourself, okay? It's time, ladies and gentlemen, that you be more realistic and realize, you know, you're going back to this person may not bring you the pleasure or happiness that many of you are seeking here, I'm kind of getting here, Okay? So sometimes it might be just best to just forgive and forget, you know? And again, you know, with this moon card, um, Pisces, I mean, yes, Pisces governs this card. And the moon has an element of deception, escapism, and uncertainty to it, okay? So you're going to, it's almost just as if you're being your own worst enemy here, or you're fearing the worst, Okay? Or you just constantly blaming, not blaming others. I'm getting here um, for your lot in life here, um, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I'm kind of getting a strong sense that, you know, if you do, in fact, go back to this person, you're going to have to be very, very cautious because it's just a lot of suspicious things that I'm kind of seeing here. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing here in terms of what the cards are are saying here in terms of what you can do to rectify the situation or even talk to this person, okay? But I do see that a new beginning is approaching for you guys, all right? So what I'm going to do now, Scorpio is going to take out another Oracle deck here to just to give you five more messages in closing. To just tell you a few other things that you might want to consider transforming or surrender, particularly when it comes to this particular situation. Keep in mind, Scorpios, that if this reading has been resonating or is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and take a few moments to hit that subscription button. So Spirit, give me five more messages to share with Scorpio. And Scorpio, this reading is valid until the end of this year, okay? Five more messages. Let's see. Okay. Surrender, Scorpio, low self-esteem. Because that's part of the reasons why you make the decisions that you make due to your low self-esteem. Understand that 
You deserve success. You deserve love as well as abundance. Try to set an intention to identify and to replace any remnants of low self-esteem. Okay? Surrender to receiving support as well as love. All right? Allow the love and support of others in. Rather than trying to handle everything yourself. Because this certainly can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture your soul. Next message. It's time that you surrender to joy. You guys have been going through a very tumultuous period for some time now. Take heart. Take some time out. Understand that a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and to try to savor every moment of it, Scorpio. Try to indulge in random acts of smiling. During both the hard times and easy times, try to keep surrendering to joy because it will make life go a bit more smoothly for you. Next message. It's time, Scorpio, that you surrender to the success that you well deserve. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities, just as the card that flipped out. Do you see how all of the cards are kind of going right back to this magician? All back to this new beginning. And last message, Scorpios. Surrender to play. It's time that you take a break from overthinking a goal or even, in fact, this situation with the exchange. Do something fun because play is certainly a time of recreation as well as rejuvenation. So, Scorpios, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered you food for thought. Be sure to share your comments. And if you'd like a more personalized reading, you can definitely scoot on over to my, uh, my website or you can contact me at one of the email addresses identified within the description box. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you.